Gio Reyna, I mean, again, sitting on a bench, waiting for his opportunity. What was probably a bit surprised to get such that amount of time on the pitch. What did you make of his performance overall today? And I want you to allude on this one as well, please, Mike. Yeah, I appreciate that um, it's hard being thrown into the action like that, especially when there's a, a game plan that, that probably revolves quite heavily around Julian, Julian Brandt, who's been one of the best players in the Bundesliga so far in 2023. But he, I mean, he didn't really do anything that in any way kind of aided Dortmund's cause with or without the ball. Too many of those crosses were were slapped straight into Reese James or into Chilwell. Um there was some sort of nice. One, there was one. There was one really good moment of of pressure high up the pitch, um, but you know you're the Borussia Dortmund number seven and their first man off the bench as they're in a Champions League tie. I, I need more. I thought Christian Pulisic. Side note: If we're doing sort of USMNT players, aside from that diabolical miss when he was offside, like I like the industry. I like the fact that he was getting involved. I just felt like Rayner had a real chance here to to make his mark on this competition and it entirely passed him by. Yeah, I... <laughs> look, it's easy to pick on Gio Reyna. Why don't we talk about Marco Royce? He was absolute crap today. <laughs> I think it's a bit harsh to, well, to say we're, we're, we're not talking about Royce. Yeah. We're talking about Reyna. Uh, Why are you talking this, about... We're this talking hits, about Reyna. This hits my Royce. anti... This is the anti-US MNT agenda that's happening right now. No, and I'm, I just said it. Yes, mate. He's just... Uh, the, he's, Gio, he's the Gio Reyna... We're interested in because... Gio, we Gio Reyna... Look, Gio Reyna, no. Was he spectacular? No. But to say he was shite, I think that's a bit harsh. He created one of their best chances of the night. Marius Wolf. Had a golden opportunity that Keppa saved. Good low save from Keppa, but there wasn't enough moments of that. But I think it's a, it's a bit harsh to say he was shite. I think overall Dortmund what, what, just... What could he do, more, what could he do more though, Michael? If you look at Giovanni Reyna's performance in general, and obviously there will be criticism <laughs> because he is American, and of course we expect more from him. And of course, all the BS that's going on around the US national team. What more could he have done though from your point of view? I'll jump in after that. I think... He played a bit too simple at different times, and it goes back to his body language not being, you know, being a bit disinterested. At least from a player like a Marco Royce or some of the other Dortmund players, they were trying to get on opposite flanks, trying to create, trying to do anything but be stagnant. And it it took too long for him to to come up with something. And when he did, when he at least took an extra touch, when he at least dropped a shoulder, it created a spark for Borussia Dortmund. I, I think it was maybe it's a bit too much sulking. Maybe it's still pondering why am I coming off the bench. So the criticism is there for him, but. He still did create a really good chance for Bruce, Bruce Dortmund, I thought. This mm -hmm. is why I can't stand this whole US, US thing, and I call them suburb babies. Michael, from James' perspective, and I'm sure James <laughs> would agree with me on this, you're playing Champions League for Borussia Dortmund against Chelsea. You got given an opportunity coming off the bench. I don't care how old you are, whether you're 19 or 20. This is your moment. Take the platform. The stage is there. The lights are there. Show us that you are this top player in European football that people say or you're one of the top players for the U.S. national team. You didn't do that. If you're, if you're a coach or a manager and you're giving these young players an opportunity, you got to tell them, this is your moment. Take it. There's other Did you do that tonight? Than him. Did Jude Pardon? Bellingham do that tonight? Mm. Jude didn't play well, but Jude's been consistent. Gio hasn't been consistent. You'd be given opportunity against Chelsea. That's the difference. And again, Michael went to Marco Rose. I don't Look know if you can say he's not being consistent, no, Nigel, because he's been coming off the bench and scoring goals. And the one start he did have was the game that he didn't score, and then he hasn't played since. So okay, it's but to today's pretty much a start, Ian. What are you going to say? Oh, because you haven't played recently. No, you got to judge him all this. You're a young player. Go out there. The stage is set. The platform is there. The lights are there. Show it. Show it like because we're making too many excuses for some of these young players. There's young players who would go in and absolutely love that environment, would love that pressure, would love being thrown at the deep end. That's what yep. he needs to do. You're competing against the best. If you're going to compete against the best, your attitude and mindset has to be, I'm going to make this about me. I'm going to take the game by the scruff of the neck. No one stops. I agree with that. The ball and running at a fullback. No one stops. I agree with that. that. Nigel, Mike, I agree with that. And this, Mike, I'm coming back to you on this one now. Yeah. I agree with that because it, uh, many times it really annoys me, his body language, when he gives up the ball, he throws his arms around, and at times he looks disinterested. And I think that's just his nature. If you look at his body language, at times he just looks like disinterested and all of a sudden he picks up the ball and he can do a bit of magic. But tonight needed that inspiration. It wasn't coming, as you pointed out, from Royce. It wasn't coming from Wolf. It wasn't coming from Sulu, who actually had a decent game tonight. Um, but it wasn't coming from the players who had experience. So tonight needed someone to really step up. That youngster to just step up and grab this game. 
And I was hoping that it was going to be Reyna when I saw him come onto the pitch. I thought, wow, this is a real opportunity for Gio to really make a statement here. And he didn't do that tonight. So maybe a, a little comment from you on the body language before we do move on to the most yeah. impressive performance tonight, which was obviously And, I, and I, I, I'm glad we're talking about that because that is one thing I, I do very much agree with all of you on is it's it's I don't know if it's a personality thing, but if you're going to have any sort of star set of career, if you're going to be the at the fulcrum of whatever the U.S. men's national team wants to do in 2026, if you want to continue to put just what happened with the Reina family and his parents in the rear view, mirror, rear view mirror, you're going to have to do your talking on the pitch. And today was a missed opportunity. I do like, and I still do have hope for him because there's a lot of big games. It didn't happen tonight, but there are still a lot of massive games to be had. The injury to Julian Brandt, that is his life card or his is kind of get out of jail free card. I think that is an opportunity now that he has in the German Bundesliga. He will most likely, given the lengthy layoff of Brandt, he will most likely be suiting up April first against Bayern Munich. That's another test for him to show what he can do. Bellboy jumping in and saying, "Stop making excuses for American players. Compare him to Saka, a younger player," which is a great, great comment. comment right there. 100%. There. Yeah. Go on, James. I mean, be fair. You don't have to compare him to Saka. I mean, there are very <laughs> good young players. Saka's um, on a level level. You're right, James. You're yeah, right. You can't that I, that I agree. So, yeah. You can't. But, but you um, know what? I, I mean, he should, he, he, should, he should be doing that to himself. Like, but we've Ian. seen the talent in flashes. I agree. Like you said, right? We've all seen it. We've seen what Adiemi brings to this Dortmund side. Yes. Why can't Jorena be like Adiemi and have that impact? You think Adiemi is going to be scared and intimidated? You think if he played against Chelsea today, he's not going to say, right. I'm going to make sure everyone remembers my name? 